to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When I was growing up, 90% of our discussions were around school, and God that was it right now the average young child the average teenager will talk about applications apps almost a thousand times before anything spiritual will be mentioned not God most young people are now spiritual and are now sociological not spiritual they are doing everything that's why they are promoting all the human activities that neutralize God consciousness like sports like music these are platforms that um that is 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 very very is very very civil and so it doesn't allow the things of god are you getting what i'm saying now it's a strategy and god is waking us up on godliness number two these three of the knowledge of good and evil that makes up the world system operates by distorting spiritual patterns write it down this system operates by distorting spiritual patterns is one of the most dangerous effects of this wisdom of the world it distorts spiritual patterns i want you to listen carefully isaiah chapter 5 we'll read from verse 20 to 24 Isaiah 5 20 read with me we are reading from 20 to 24 one to read woe to them that call evil good talk to me and good evil that put darkness for light uh -huh. and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter what kind of a generation is this that replaces everything is an overhaul nothing was spared if it is good this society calls it evil if it is light they call it darkness if it is sweet they call it bitter verse 22 21 woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight uh-huh woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink 23 we justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him do you know what this means that means they force you through their life and they compel you to bend until you are out of god's pattern he said they take away the righteousness of the righteous from him so you send your child to school as a responsible young boy from a christian family and a system has been built by the time that boy is three years in that school it has taken away the righteousness from the righteous four next verse therefore as fire devoured the stubble and flame consumed the chaff so shall their root be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust notice that they once blossom but the bible said it will go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the lord of hosts and despised the word of the holy one of israel in god's design and in his dealings with men he always creates patterns listen carefully god's patterns are his methodology his way of achieving his will it is not enough to obey god we must understand his pattern 
there is a pattern for wealth and finance in the kingdom there is a pattern for marriage in the kingdom there is a pattern for ministry there is a pattern for success but now we have a system that is forcing an ideology and even upon believers that makes us to violate patterns are we together now one of our dear ladies here she may be following online i think a few a few maybe about a month ago she left for the u.s and when she got to the u.s i think it was just like a few days or a week she just called me and i know there are people from u.s following so i i, I don't mean to insult any culture but she told me that apostle there's there's something wrong she said my roommates are all lesbians and there is a problem if I'm not mistaken I hope I'm right because she said it's like they are supposed to be believers and now she has to relate with them because there is not like here just for showing any sign of um, discrimination as it were they can sue you and of course if you are not, not a citizen of that nation they can take you out immediately and this lady was confused completely confused and saying what is all this I come from a place in Zaria where even the person who is not doing well can be a pastor somewhere else and now I'm faced with roommates that are vocally part of a system let me tell you I don't mean to insult anyone but I told you most of those things are symptoms of a problem the problem is that we have deviated from God's pattern are you getting what I'm saying now yes the divorce rate in marriages is something that is scary including Christian marriages one out of every two marriages will not last 10 years now please don't feel bad if anything has happened to your marriage I'm teaching here are you getting what I'm saying do you know why because two of you come husband and wife people have created their own patterns call good evil and evil good it was God who defined how marriage works society has now mentored people into creating their own laws about marriage is it not arrogant for you to come and meet something and not consult the person who created it and change the laws it's like coming to my house and meet my tap running and I come back and see that you've rewired the tap to the back of the house by what authority did you do this in my house so we have done it in ways that we cannot imagine in my my laptop I have the photo of a woman who married sardine big sardine not the small one you use yes sir yes sir are we together side by side you see them there i have it in my laptop now let me tell you this believers were civilized people i'm not i'm not those kind of people that would teach you to not, not no 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 but i'm saying something is wrong we have to admit that something is wrong are we together now these people have their ideas they have money they have everything yet the marriage does not work and they are wondering because everybody the babylonian system has indoctrinated this lady you are not under any man you are a lady you are you know you are a wonderful person don't let any man look down on you society is these men are looking down on women this and that and the lady says yes if it's because of your money i will get my own job i will buy my own car i can be lord of myself if you drive me i can go and get my three bedroom flat we think it's a nice thing because if a lady proposes this in the world they clap for you they stand up and wave their hands and god sits on his throne and say this is not what i designed what are you designing like this already as i'm saying it you see how surprised me? how many of you have been sucked into it as i'm saying it now it's paining you which is a sign that god is delivering you because already you can see how the thing has sucked us and then the men we have our own we are even the ones that are more sucked into this thing because we need money we need to provide and we have deviated from god's pattern completely 
right now respect in marriage is based on who is richer not what God said I'm working I'm earning 30,000 you are earning 10,000 you are not worth my respect and society says yes one one life coach somewhere who is not born again has never read the Bible is now writing books and pushing it to the church because they know we buy everything are we together yes something is wrong a distortion of patterns let me tell you why patterns are important because patterns forerun the glory when patterns are violated the glory will never be seen never be seen there are ways today my brothers and my sisters i don't say this in any sarcastic way but there are ways go for pastors conferences and see how they teach men to raise money to run churches you will be amazed and you will be surprised because there is a pattern a babylonian system is marketing a strategy remember that the ark of god was supposed to be carried by a formula a man decided to invent a system to say let's let's make it easier for men and that man died what did he do that was wrong he only changed patterns it was violation of pattern that made a man lose his throne saul in the bible it was not in his office to offer sacrifices but because samuel was wasting time and the people started putting pressure on saul saul said what nonsense is this priesthood thing get me everything let me offer sacrifices as soon as he offered sacrifices samuel came and said what have you done he said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come and do this and god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this your throne is taken away from you and samuel tried to weep and cry and god who is full of mercy said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king in other words this guy is out of my program god your god every time the reason why we never see the glory of god in our churches we never see the glory of god in our families could it be that we are there eating of the tree of the knowledge of the of good and evil and is indoctrinating us to act and believe in ways that are violating god's pattern gideon began to cry and told the angel he said why do we not see the miracles that our fathers told us and he began to tell gideon there are idols there are things to be destroyed when it was time for elijah to command fire from heaven he didn't just say fire come he said set me 12 altars there is a pattern set me 12 altars put water on it put this and fire came Cain and Abel offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected God is not only the God of the heavens he's a God of patterns God looks at how you did it not just that you did it hmm. patterns thank you my dear Exodus chapter 25 We'll read verse 9 and then we'll read verse 20. Very quickly, please. God is taking us somewhere tonight. According to all that I showed thee, listen, after the pattern of the tabernacle, this was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness, and God was instructing Moses that according to all that I showed you, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, so shall thou make it in other words it was not moses's idea a blueprint was given his assignment was to replicate it there are many things see in your dealing with god you will not need too much of creativity you will need obedience it is when you are executing his will on earth that you will need in your dealing with god there are few things that will be your idea I know we don't like this how you know you are working with God is that a major part of your dealing is yes sir yes sir when it becomes in my opinion that's not God you are working with hmm. creativity is not for the secret place creativity is a system of dominion you don't bring creativity when you are in the secret place it is obedience it is your heart opening to say lord not my will but your will be done 
Exodus 25 25 verse 40 and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was shown you not which you guessed not which you guessed a pattern was shown you make sure that you make it after their pattern very quickly give us chapter 40 and verse 16 40 and verse 16 I'm showing you that God is a God of patterns 40 and verse 16 read with me please one to read thus did Moses uh -huh, according to all that the Lord commanded him go to verse 33 we are reading now verse 33 to 35 it says and he read up the court he's about to finish now listen carefully round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate read the last sentence everyone one to go so moses finished the work he finished everything according to pattern next verse and then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation god supervised until he followed the patterns to the dot when moses finished the work he said god i finished god said i'm ready to come the cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of god filled the tabernacle next verse and moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation why because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of god filled it if the glory of god is not upon your church could there be an explanation that something in the building or the system of that church is disaligned with divine patterns because if it is built according to pattern the glory of God is like a stamp you obeyed to the latter if I look at your family and I do not see the glory of God there is a pattern that you are not following are we together now I can look at your family and I see chaos here and there husband beating wife wife beating husband I must kill you I tell you someone is violating patterns if both people walk with divine patterns there will be glory that means the glory of God is also a confirmation that his patterns have been duly followed every time you finish that which you do it's important to look around and find out where is the glory of God in it as proof that this was done according to pattern could it be that the joblessness that is plaguing young people in Nigeria could it be the reason why many of us are languishing in certain intense levels of hardship we may be well-meaning but could it be that we are violating divine patterns everybody say patterns say it again say patterns so the tree of the knowledge of good and evil causes you to be distorted from God's pattern there is a way God designed that marriage happens if you have to go on Facebook and WhatsApp to start doing this you may get a beast who is first a man before he becomes a beast which is consistent with the way that tree works is first good before evil so you meet somebody on Facebook and he says I'll go and see your parents you are the lily of the valley are we together now and that person later becomes the beast of your destiny why because patterns God designed marriage come please to be one man and one woman don't feel bad by the time this guy says one woman is not enough and brings another woman everybody say patterns patterns start fighting from the realm of the spirit because the way God designed this thing is such that one woman the woman has to be alone for you to see the best of her in marriage by the time it is now two or ten or five something must go wrong it doesn't matter what they sign patterns have been distorted are we together when a man of 50 years old is writing YEC, everybody say patterns have been distorted. 
Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm saying that it is usual for that man to not concentrate. He is not supposed to be that alert and focused just like that. Because that longevity of time has accommodated too many things that are more serious than the subject matter. So it is good that a young man bear his yoke in his youth. Lamentations chapter 3. That God says, young men, walk your walks while it is day. Night will come when you cannot walk. It's a pattern. Starting early in life is a pattern. That's why when the spirit of delay comes upon a family, it makes sure that the first person is, in, is writing SSC at 25. It's not about delay. Satan is doing everything to make you go out of pattern. It is why God in his mercy introduced a mystery called restoration. Are you seeing that now? Restoration is doing something to your life to bring you back in pattern. When a woman has been barren and she's 60 years old with no child, the devil knows that according to the normal course of life, there will be a problem giving birth or at least giving birth to a very healthy child. Are you seeing that now? Satan knows that God is a God of patterns and so he supplies us knowledge that makes us to be and act in ways that continue to be defiant to God's pattern because his advantage in our life is that when we are out of pattern he doesn't need to pray against us the glory was designed to locate patterns and confirm it is God speaking to us I like you to look at your family as you are sitting down and suddenly realize that could this be why we never saw the hand of God in our family we were Christians oh my father my mother loved God served God with all his and her heart Lord why is this family this way why are we not seeing your glory I'm showing you we are eating of a tree and the more we keep eating of that tree every time the glory comes to your house it cannot rest and the glory continues to search for a resting place and sometimes it will wait for one full generation until you arrive that's why some of you are standing up to say lord that glory must rest that glory has been hovering around my family since 1951 and nobody has aligned enough to allow that glory come lord see he said lord and now arise oh lord he said come to your resting place until then god said i don't have a place to rest and solomon said no way we have to make for you make for you a place i can tell you i understand a bit about the glory of god i know why many people do not experience the glory there are spiritual patterns Babylon. you eat of that tree notice what happened to adam as soon as they ate of the tree what happened the glory lifted it was the glory that covered them they didn't even know whether they were naked or not they didn't need clothes because the shekinah of god covered them as soon as they ate of that tree imagine that every day you are eating of that tree think of what is happening to your life and think of what you are programming for your children's children already so every time our fathers kept bowing in that shrine they thought they were just paying homage but something Ichabod, the glory continued to move back and back and back and back and back by the time you came to the scene, there was no glory again. Eleven ladies, beautiful ladies, no man to marry them. Thirteen ladies, no child. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, it's not just about prayer. When we return to the pattern, it's with a rush. The glory will come. When Moses finished, not when he started, God kept watching. Finish it and let my glory come. You know, from my paternal side i never saw any blessed person i think the most blessed person was my dad and it's not like he was any blessing i said what kind of course is this 
how can you be so hard working and love God my father was a very honest man loved God but I, I said no no someone has to be angry oh, this night and say no my family has been eating from a tree eating from the tree can mean bowing to an idol eating from the tree can be an indoctrination that your salary is where your wealth is you think it's a nice statement but it's something that has been sold to you so when you hear things like all blessings come from god they only pass through men it's an ideology that fights everything you've been taught about job oh the boss said i can waste your life now and you say sir it's true ah, and the psalmist said i lift up my eyes to the hills i'm not confused i know where my help comes from who is an arrogant man born of a woman that sits on a chair and says he'll frustrate you when there is god An average man of God has been taught now that there are things that if they are not in your church members will not come please don't get me wrong I know if there's any man of God phoning I'm, I'm an excellent person but right now we are doing a lot of nonsense that will not help us see the glory of God nonsense members can drink tea they can eat rice they can eat yam and go because there is a pattern and I if I be lifted that's the pattern I will Paul may plant, Apollos may water, but it's not given to men to bring increase. Increase is a mystery that only the Lord of the harvest knows the formula. You say something now, people insult you and say you are arrogant, but the result is not showing. I want you tonight to start thinking the convictions that I hold, where did it come from? where did it come from there are many well-behaved ladies in this place you started very well with god until you read a book until you join some group of friends who told you blast gentlemen don't talk anybody that talks just give it to them don't be doing like a mumu girl men are not like that i say eh, that's how it works you ate something and from that day your glory went away and the kind of men who would ordinarily come you find out that men increase but it's all nonsense kind of men men that you cannot carry to your parents something a pattern has gone wrong the one factor that was the reason why the glory of God was on you the devil now came and lied to you why be respect yourself be a well-behaved girl be all of, let me tell you if you act like you're a mumu naive girl men will not come and you say okay i must reinvent myself to be a happening lady and that was the day your destiny helper went away there are many pastors some of you here have come here for impartation let me tell you i submit to you i am a student of patterns there are things that i know i found them God taught me. I said, Lord, I will never bend to them. Years ago, I remember saying some things and I was insulted. I was criticized because of it. I said things about the glory of God. I said things about increase. And I said, the way we are going, if people do not understand these things, they will pay for it. People laughed at me. And today is unfortunate for many people. People see some of the results that God is producing. It's not a charm. It's patterns. When a pattern is complete, listen to me. My sister, you may come from a family where nobody knows you. Stay with God's pattern. Let his glory rest on you. You will join people to wonder and say, God, what, what am I doing? And God says, I'm the God of patterns. Man of God, follow God's pattern for ministry. And you will be afraid of what God will do through your life. We like cutting corners. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. I want a ministry, but I want it now. I want power, but I want it fast. I want this, but I want it now. And we find out that somewhere along the line, the patterns are distorted. And we never see the power of God.
Are we together? You do what I'm telling you now to do and see how society will laugh at you. Because we have trained people that the more godless we are, the more happening they are. You see that? So this gentleman now is in the house and somebody advises him, don't give your wife money because if you give her money, she will not respect you. That's what is in vogue now. A demonic pattern. Because loyalty and submission was supposed to be by revelation, not manipulation. Now the man is manipulating the woman. And one day her own Ahitophel too will advise her. And as soon as he advises her, she will get a job and start a business and arrest the husband to prove to him that I am the man in the house. My brothers and my sisters, we are in trouble if we don't return to pattern. Yes. Many marriages do not work because the men are not under authority. You've heard me say it. I have read a lot of books about marriage and I respect it. But I submit to you that many of the books are dealing with symptoms. Do you know, just for a man not having the fear of God, there are hundred problems that can arise from that relationship. Now, you can write a book to solve those various hundred problems. But the root cause is that this man is not saved. Period. When a man is not saved, the tendencies that can come are infinite. When a man is not under authority, he can beat the living daylight out of this woman and say, who cares? I'm the Lord of my life. I don't listen to no man. The arrogance of Nebuchadnezzar. It's a pattern. Why do doctors specialize why do they look at certain sicknesses and they can show you immediately because the sicknesses have patterns malaria has a pattern typhoid has a pattern a doctor can do this just do a quick examination and say wow quickly you need to see a consultant something is wrong without the patterns they have been taught to identify patterns that's it there is a pattern that gives you wealth in this kingdom many believers will not listen the world has its own system it will work but wait to see what it will give you later on it will give you high blood pressure you will be a liar you will be a thief you will destroy your life destroy the integrity of your family so two of us come show two of us can stand right now and i have i have some money here i have one thousand naira watch this he got his one hold your own hold it high his old, he got his 1,000 by a Babylonian system. And I got my 1,000 from a kingdom system. You would think that two of us are holding 1,000. No. He's holding 1,000 minus five years gone in his life. That's why the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added. That means there is a kind of blessing that adds to. If the blessing of the Lord adds not that means there is a type that you can get but with it you will get this that's what happened to many of our parents by the time they are 55 years he found out that because of Horsley and the way he pushed like that he's about to retire but he's not hearing again come on to me Jesus let's listen to him now let's listen to Jesus Come on to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden. He promises that he will give you rest. This is what many people can kill for. Look at this. This thing you see. Many people have left God because of it. Many people are going to hell fire because of it. Yet they never find it. And God tells you, look, there is a way I can give you this such that you will serve me. And the world says, the way I give you this is... The, the more you denounce Jesus the more I give it to you so you keep saying Jesus I don't love you and Mammon says that's how it works by the time you have plenty of this you have not only left the cross you have left everything God so when you come and say I can have this and yet have Jesus Babylon says you are joking but this is what God is training you into doing that you can have this and if God says let it go you drop it 
because you are aware that this is not your true value your true value is Christ we must return tonight to patterns otherwise we are going to suffer remember that every result is governed by something that something is a pattern the result you get is brought by the glory of God I've seen a little bit of the glory of God and I know when a man has found a pattern for the glory give up on that man if you want to try to take the glory in that area you're wasting your time for as long as the pattern is kept the glory will always always without fail tomorrow I'm in Lagos preaching at a conference and I know that their lives will never be the same because there is a pattern it's not because I'm Joshua Selman ah Elijah said bring me 12 stones I know how to make fire come from heaven man of God you are not a blessing to your members if you do not understand the pattern that brings the hand of God there is a pattern that men do on earth that brings favor there is a pattern that brings speed there is a pattern that brings the anointing I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord I was glad there is something in the house of the Lord that changes the lives of people but today we are eating trees that make the things of God do you know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil teaches you that it is in the abundance of hustling you prosper have you had those teachings and have you seen people write books on them have you not read in your Bible that except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it? The world will laugh at you for saying that. Have you not read again that the Lord said, except he watches over a city, he says, that the watchmen watch it in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Does that look like somebody's life that you know? Wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, but he gives his beloved sleep. And you see, when you struggle and it does not work, you will be angry at those who are getting it easy because patterns are supposed to create spiritual ease. So you can step into a place and gyrate like a herbalist. The power of God will fall. It is going to fall. And you keep looking at the ladies and nobody is shouting and you are angry. What is no, no sister shouting? And yet, someone comes with the ark and knows how to put 12 stones together. And all of a sudden, you are hosting a dimension of glory. And you stand and watch and say, how are these people doing it? He has to be the devil. No, sir. Patterns. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I have loved walk in your ways for step by step you lead me and I will follow ago the Lord told me something he said don't do what everybody is doing just listen to me and follow me I was stupid enough to follow Lord where do I go this way Lord where do I go I remember when the Lord told me put koinonia messages the audio 
put it on your Facebook page and let it go Lord what is that many ministries raise their money to run the church primarily through the media arm the media arm of every ministry is one of the major ways that God blesses them with Lord if you are doing that how then are you going to bless the ministry but Lord how do you put a message on Facebook and then you said you will give it wings the patterns of God he uses the foolish things my brothers and my sisters listen to me a lady was talking to me that she was somewhere one of our ladies she used to be in the worship team that she was somewhere on Kekena Pep and the person on Kekena Pep was playing my message this was in I think it was in Wari or so or Bielsa now that one is no more advertisement there is a finger when you see results that are produced by patterns you will know that this one is God the pride of our generation will never allow us to humble ourselves and say Lord I don't know I don't know many young people do not know how to succeed and they will never go to God they will consult with all kinds of equally proud people like them and come up with all kinds of formula that is not consistent with the ways of God that formula may have worked in 1970 but I guarantee it will not work in today's world listen young people in Nigeria we need to receive the formula for our advancement because computers have, re have replaced men a day will come when almost everything will be done by computers i don't know what the employment issue will be but there is there is a system in this kingdom when there was famine only two sets of people were spared the king and the prophet the king and the prophet did not go through famine any other person in between suffered the squalor of it Alabara. You are the mighty God, and He has always You are the glorious Alamara. There are people who will tell you about our teachings that they can stand and sit strangers i shared with you the testimony of a gentleman that bought flash new flash in the case flash drive bought a new flash drive in the case like that given to him the gentleman opened it went to slot it in his laptop and there was koinonia messages brand new flash because it's not men that market this thing they are spirits Ask Jacob in the house of Laban. Do you not see that there was a pattern that made Laban left for three days? How many days? Three days. He came back after three days and saw that his cattle had changed in three days. Do animals get pregnant in three days? But a spiritual pattern was downloaded to the earth realm and things change. That means there is something we can receive from heaven remember our popular scripture in this ministry knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth there is a pattern my brothers and my sisters listen to me i want you to be careful what everybody calls the way did you hear what i said don't be afraid of being controversial be careful what everybody says is the way this is how people make it in life this is how people marry these days no sir many of our young children have been destroyed right now in churches because in a bid to create a western or a 21st century context we are robbing these young children of the quality of knowing God look at Islam they have not changed their pattern the way they train children regardless whether it's in Saudi Arabia or whatever the pattern is the same they know the potency of that formula is God speaking to us let me give us one more and then we'll pray is God speaking to someone tonight 
So if I am not seeing the glory of God in my life, the explanation tonight is that there could be that I am eating, I am partaking of an information that may be mainstream, it may be popular. When I talk to these, my adorable gentlemen, they are absolutely great people. They are going very far. You see that? Yes, they are going very far. But you see, there is a pattern that people believe if you follow, you will rise fast. Believe me, it is nonsense. Any pattern that is not consistent with God's word will not take you far. It will throw you up and crash you down. That's why you see people rise and shine for two years. And then they say their time has come and gone. But is that what your Bible says? Doesn't it say that the path of the just, talk to me, is as a shining light. So what is this up today and down tomorrow? Because there is a pattern. If you have to put money in my pocket and bribe my way to making the world know you, your success is at the mercy of my loving you. The day I don't love you, you are in trouble. But when God is the one who leads you, you will be surprised. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you for five years and they will tell her there's one man is in our village he has the gift he has the gift all you need to do he has the gift and the woman says no i know god's pattern i know that that tree carries good so it's possible to go there and have a child but something will come with that child will come the trouble in your family and then the woman stays and uses her faith and the day God is ready to visit her, God will not give her a child. The woman will carry tri triplets, one child being equivalent to 10 children. You know that there are people who alone, they are equivalent to a nation. They give birth to one child. Because of that one child, somebody you have been trying to see for years comes to visit you. Five people get a job because a child was born. Is that a child? A child that does what a CEO cannot do. A destiny helper from birth. One week from birth is already a destiny helper. And as adult as we are, we couldn't help ourselves. A child helps us. That's not a child. That's a miracle. That's a breakthrough. Number three. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives on self-centeredness I want you to listen to my message Christ-centeredness I preached it I think earlier this year the language I I want it my way my way is the language of Babylon my way is proof you are eating of that tree men who eat of that tree have a way they talk it must be my way listen listen Oh, generation of young people, let's listen. My way, my formula. We live in a generation right now where there is an obsession for having things happen our way. I want it my way. And we take it a step further to force others to also do it our way. That's the height of selfishness now. most great relationships are destroyed because of the i factor myself i want it my way it has to be as it pleases me unfortunately when you come to the kingdom you learn that the more i goes down the more glory rises and i jesus if i be lifted up not you john said that i 
will decrease not just him that self i decreases and that you increase james chapter one verse one and two self-centeredness is one of the biggest tragedies of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil james chapter three gave us 14 and 15 the bible says something very instructive it says listen but if ye have bitter envyings and strife in your heart glory not and lie not against the truth 15 it says this wisdom so there is a wisdom that is as a result of self and greed and bitterness my selfishness and my greed can make me act in a way that looks like wisdom but the motivation are we together now the motivation for that wisdom is bitterness self-centeredness the bible says that kind of wisdom descended not from above remember the knowledge of the good of good and evil it says but is earthly is sensual and is devilish so simply because I want to be the one to shine, I can say, Sam, um, because there is a gun inside that room, I say, Sam, why don't you go to that room and go and help me carry a basket? But the goal is so that he will be implicated, so that he will get out of the way for me to shine alone. It looks like wisdom, but the motivation is self-centeredness. The Bible says that wisdom is devilish. Our world today, and sadly, even in ministry, is full of self-centeredness. Romans chapter 16, quickly please, verse 17 and 18. While I was studying this, I found this scripture and it blessed me. Tonight is a very strong admonishment and I want you to listen carefully. 16 and 17. Okay, read with me. One, two, go. Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause what? Division and offense contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And do what? Avoid them. Next verse. For they are such that serve not our Lord Jesus, but they are. And by good words and fair speeches, they deceive the heart of the simple. Your Bible. So I can be looking for money and I can say, do you know what? Um, the Lord gave me a prophetic instruction that all of us are going to do this and that and that. All of us are going to raise to 2000 and come and touch my shoe and your life will change and God knows he didn't give that instruction I just calculated that if there are 5,000 people here and everybody gives to 2,000 highest plus or minus I've already done the mathematics and then I come and say oh God said no their belly is their God their belly a man's belly can be his God meaning you can serve your stomach It's amazing what people do so that they can feel satisfied and don't care the effect on others and on the kingdom. That's why people can kill. I can look at this gentleman and plot with an assassin. Look at this, these touts around that steal phones and do all of that. They can come and cut someone's hand cut someone's neck to collect a phone of 25,000 and go and sell it 5,000. That is self-centeredness at work. The amount it would take for that victim to treat himself or herself may even be more than what they sold that phone for. But because they need to smoke now, everybody, even if it means death, listen, the moment the comfort of people does not become a factor for your consideration in your desire you are self-centered
I want this. It must be my way. Brothers, we want this. I'm the man of the house. It must be my way. I stamp it. Ladies, I'm the woman of the house. I'm not the one that married you. You are the one that married me. It must be my way. And the naughty children come. I'm not the one that gave her this them to they say their own. Selfishness. Are we to... <laughs> Who Jesus himself stripped himself of his glory and came to the earth for God so loved, not himself, for God so loved the world. I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Selfishness. Lord, bless me so that everybody in my family will know that I'm not a small man. My elder brother will shout in, Lord, bless me. Let me disgrace somebody for you. And God says, me? What do you think I am? Your mate? God sees my heart and I stand before you. I say this. I don't know how many things I do in my life considering myself as the chief benefactor. God is my witness. There are things I do for people today that I sit down sometimes and I think and I say, Kai, you man, now I will. I talk to myself, I say, now for you, Joshua Selman. When you do not have a heart for God and people, you are eating of the tree of life, of knowledge of good and evil. The tree of life takes the attention from you to others. Are we together now? As a preacher, if your whole church is around you, what you can get from members, how they can clap for you, then that means you're in trouble. Let me tell you, true ministry is not about the preacher. It's about the blessed people that God brings so that they are raised, so that they are equipped, so that their lives are blessed. I sit down here many times and I find tears when I see people stand to testify about the marvelous things that the word of God did for them. Listen. I have found out that there are not many things that are important in life. Did you hear what I said? I have found out that if you walk with God's ways, there are not many things in your entire lifetime that are really important. The complications that come that our lives bring are a web that the Babylonian system created for us. So we have depression. Go to the village. You will hardly find people with high blood pressure. For some of them it's because they are not enlightened. But for some of them, through the wisdom of the ancient, they know the things that really matter. Did you know that when all is said and done in this life, there are not many things that are important. As busy as we are, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're on our way going. 12 o'clock, we're on our way going. We do this and kill ourselves trying to eat, trying to gain relevance. I must buy the suit of 200,000 so that they will know. And that self-inflicted pain leads you to do things that you have no business doing. The moment you buy the 200,000 naira suit, the person you want to wear it for, you hear that they've made the person a senator. And you feel stupid for laboring for one year to prove a point. Listen, I have seen people who died trying to impress others. I've seen people who died trying to create something in their life that it was not part of God's template for them. Meet a man on a deathbed right now and tell him what do you desperately want. He will not say an estate. He will not say I need an extra wife. He will not say I need a male fast. 
the only thing he will cry for is give me more time that means time is the most valuable thing and if God ever gives you time you have everything but we can waste time to look for what is less than time God gave you time to serve him time to love him time to seek him we were on our way going to um, I think it was while we were going to movie while we were going to the airport I was talking to my people and I told them I said guys do you know that this you people think that you have forced me to buy has reduced my productivity by at least 10 percent and they were amazed I said I don't have a problem with it but um, you can sit down with somebody for 20 minutes and not even ask him his name because someone else is talking to you and the person who is talking to you can even have gone to be with the Lord yet he's talking to you and somebody that is alive that can help you now you see that everybody people have had accidents typing text while driving people have done all kinds of things you see someone stand by the roadside shouting alone and just nodding with the ears. These things are turning us into fools. We have to remind ourselves that we are the highest of God's creation. I'm not against excellence. Don't get me wrong. But something is critically wrong that we must trust God for. It's a mind control system. It's controlling us. Right now when you stand, people look at you. And they look at the phone you are holding. They see one kind of thing. They say, okay, you can stay there. That's a society that is depraved of the formula. So it puts pressure. Someone who is busy saving money for something is under pressure. Let me carry this. There are some, you, I, I thank God because it doesn't allow me to read the prayer items of miracle service. I'm sure I would have edited some before presenting them to God. I said, this is nonsense. God, please don't waste your time. There's a crucial issue here. Someone is dying. Leave this iPhone issue and kill the person dying. So I can go to the place of prayer and spend three hours. And that three hours is not because I love God and his purposes. The three hours is because I'm manipulating the hand of God to meet my need. Oh God. If you give me a good job and you give me an iPhone, Lord, you too, you know you'll be glorified. And God says, how? How? Present your course. There's no problem. How will I be glorified? I say, well, Lord, they will respect me. I say, have you, have you found out how many times you mentioned your name in that equation? I say, no. I'm not a careless God. I don't waste. And yet another person is doggedly involved. And said, Lord, I know there is nothing that I have that is not yours. And while he's talking, God is telling someone, give him the latest iPhone every year. He said, God, I don't need it. He said, me, I want you to need it. That's God for you. It's amazing how God can take someone else's prayer request and give another person who really seeks him. Please, when you go to the secret place, don't waste your time. Learn how to get God's heart. Nobody comes with his heart without his hands. If you invite my heart, my hand will follow. If you invite my hand, I can keep my heart far while my hand goes. Get his heart and you will see what his hand will do. It's the hand that will remove the heart and put it for you. But with that heart will come more than you have ever imagined. I see God do things in my life and I see God do things in this ministry that sometimes okay. this God bar I want you to believe him I will never bow to Babylon it's a corrupted system I have seen the fallacy of this system they are arrogant even one hour to their destruction they will still be arrogant they have deceived many people today the Babylonian system has made many people to go to hell. Are you aware of that? There are people who would have been on their way to heaven, but a system deceived them. They deceive many of our parents to not love God. They embrace education, but they left God. Believing that they will be on their job forever, they forgot that demons are still on earth. 
while they were promoted their inability to be connected to God didn't give them the opportunity to make exploits and their lives are almost miserable today young people lie to themselves if you take this and smoke this you are a man and it sells a system and you embrace it let me tell you I introduce to you once again a system that is superior maybe controversial for a while but the results are like day and night you will rise above men men and watch life in wonder yes it's true I've made my choice I really have I'm not going to run my life based on a depraved system that has no respect for God I will not make money at the expense of my relationship with God no sir that is devilish money and God are not the same I will never allow any brilliant financial expert make me believe money and God is the same no in the beginning God not dollars in the beginning God not Naira in the beginning God not NMPC in the beginning God not APU in the beginning God and he says he's Omega too so whatever happens in between I'm sure that he's still there I live a very happy life truly speaking and I live a very peaceful life do you know why because I have learned in my life there are very finite things I'm doing with my entire life the things I'm doing with my life they are not many these are the things I live for these are the things my entire course on earth will be for I don't have time to waste on nonsense there's no time wasting to prove any point high blood pressure if they tell you I have high blood pressure well pray for me but I don't think it's true I sleep like a baby I wake up happily this is the day the Lord has made I rejoice and I am glad in it wake up tomorrow morning and stand by the road and see the anger of people he's alone nobody's on the road yet he's already angry honing alone and angry this wicked world why is life like this and God says come up to me say no God stay out of my life and others even say it's because you came into my life have you heard people say that if the devil ever puts that thought in your mind my brothers and my sisters cast it that is because God came into my life that's why I'm not lifted if it was not this God thing I would have quietly bribed my way I would have been in NMPC now and people regret and make it look like God you are a disadvantage Bazankoma Bazankoma Nina yes Bazankoma based on your own convictions if you don't fear God you can't make your children fear God they will fear what you fear you fear money you will raise your children like that whatever you serve is what they will serve you say as for me and my house as for me and my house I've made a choice I want you to join me make this choice make this choice as for me money will not stand between me and God fame will not stand between me and God this devilish system it doesn't mean we should run away from the world we cannot we are in the world but there is another philosophy listen we are praying in the world Sam come if Sam offends me the world teaches that Sam has offended you an eye for an eye make sure you do something that bends him so that he will know but when you come into the kingdom, it says to even pray for those who despitefully use you. Now, you do that. Let me tell you what the world calls you. Mumu, that's the name. That's the name invented for those who obey God that far. When you obey God that far, the world created a name for you. Everybody will be taking you for a ride. You are doing like an idiot. Revenge, Share. And Bible says, vengeance is mine. And you are thinking, do I do, I do something for Sam? 
David had the opportunity to kill Saul and he left Saul. <laughs> David, yes, your chance. David said, it doesn't work that way. There is a pattern. It is God that lifts. If I lift myself, I will keep myself in the palace. Give. That's the pattern of the kingdom. The wall says, take, search his pocket, remove everything and make it your own. That's how you rise. And that's the way many of us have taught. You can inflate school fees. Daddy, they've increased our school fees to 120,000. Print some letters that are a lie. And they give you and you say smartness. That's what the world calls it. In this kingdom, we call it death. Because God's system of justice will catch up with you for sure. Are we together? We are going to pray. Tonight is a wake-up call. That you should stop eating from the tree. Although it looks like it has good. There is a more excellent way. The tree of life. An ideology and a proposition that is superior by far. You will live long and live happy. You will give and people will think you are a madman. Yet you are happy because you understand the system. That your children surround your table. They don't run away from you like you ran away from your parents. They come to you and love you. That you can lock your house morning till night with your family members and say today we are worshipping God in this family. Not No time, no time. I need to make ends meet. I need sharp, sharp. I need money. There's one money somewhere and God is saying settle down. God, no, 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 no. My, the, the person has called me to come now. I need to come. A man can receive nothing. Intelligent people hear me. lean not on your own understanding it says in all your ways acknowledge him I am aware that I am not very smart in myself I am giving up on my own intelligence outside of God that's why I need him like a matter of life and death and I say Lord if you do not speak my intelligence is too frail to give me the results that I seek these are the kinds of people that he loves when people stand and say Apostle Joshua Selman I remember that in this kingdom there is only one person who is glorified it is in his being glorified that you are also lifted and then I turn and I say Lord Jesus this is unto you and they say no shine I say no we shine by letting him shine then he reflects his light on us that's how we get our own we don't shine and turn our backs at him say Lord I have brought you this as a trophy and he says you are doing this for me then I will lift you men of God be careful when men begin to clap for you and say without you the world will not move without koinonia you cannot rise I mean come with or without me God's sovereignty remains with or without me his kingdom and his purposes will continue if i die today you will only cry for seven days you will first try to raise me back if i don't refuse to wake up you will throw me you will pray and pray and be tired and one by one you start going and throw me in a grave and cry one last time and i tell you that will be it you will think your life will not continue i will stand and i'm watching you with the angels and say bury that body and go <laughs> I want you to live a superior life. A life that is free from fear. If I fail, what happens? If I fail, hey, no, if I don't marry, what happens? If I don't have children, no. To deliver them who through the fear of death, fear, have all their lifetime subject to bondage. If you want to buy a car today, the reason should not be to prove a point. Lord, I need it for the comfort of my life for my family ultimately for your kingdom and God says pattern complied let the car come Lord I need it how my colleagues have car this small boy that was in SS1 when I was writing work and God said SS1 I was 33 years old when I saved the world I saved those who were also 70 years so if you are using age that carnality in you God will not prosper you and you will sit down there and say my colleagues and their children will come and be feeding you what if you say Lord is for your glory and I've taught you how you know God is being glorified in your life whoever takes the shame 
is the one who has been taking the glory did you hear what i said whoever takes the shame god cannot be taking the glory while you take the shame many of us are so shame conscious we got it from our cultures shame shame ah let him take the glory and let him take the shame is his namesake is defending not my namesake you enter your sabbath lord is for your glory for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my King. One more time, sing it. For your glory, I will do anything just to see Gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. Gotta be where you are. You have tried hustling. Why don't you try a retreat? Try it. Try it. You have tried running around. Why don't you get back and say, Lord, here is my certificate. Whatever you do with it, do all. I'm tired of applying. Every job I applied, they didn't give me. I bring my certificate to the secret place and I kneel before you. Am I not all yours? Is the certificate not yours? And you lie down there and then you have a dream and you see someone giving you a job. And God says, this one, I am the one giving you. I took my hand to show you it's not by the arm of flesh. I am the lifter of men. I don't know how many times I would drum this revelation. There is nobody who is self-made in the kingdom. The idea of being self-made is a secular idea. Everybody is spirit-made. Everybody is God-made. Everybody is word-made. And nothing was made without him. I am self-made is a joke. Of course, when you are talking to secular people, it's okay. But in this kingdom, no self-made preachers, no self-made marriages, no self-made wives. Oh, I was beautiful. That's why he married me. He's a lie. I'm a handsome guy working in NMPC. No, sir. Everything in this kingdom is God. The epicenter of the kingdom is Christ. Are you ready to pray? I've shown you three things that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil can do. Listen, it will destroy your home. It will destroy your life. There is a more excellent way. It's the way of the spirit. It's a more excellent way. It's the way of peace. Many of us have joy, but we do not have peace. Can I tell you, peace is better than joy by far. If you have the option to choose between peace and joy, choose peace 1,000 times before you choose joy once. You have nothing in life if you do not have peace. True wealth is peace. True progress is peace. He never calls himself the prince of joy, but he calls himself the prince of peace. Rise up on your feet. Na I 
I'd like you to lift your voice and say, as for me and my family and my children's children, we will follow the way of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. I choose to eat of the tree of life. It's a choice I'm making. I choose it on behalf of my ministry. I choose it on behalf of myself. I make up my mind that the way of the Lord is my way. The way of the Lord is my way. says I beseech thee brethren he's talking to believers that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice he says holy and acceptable unto God and he calls it your reasonable act of worship or service verse 2 says and do not be conformed do not pattern your life after this world the Greek word aeon the age and the thinking pattern that comes with it the fact that a thing is popular does not mean it is God's way it may be done by everybody but it may be a terrible antichrist formula for life then it says but be ye transformed from the word metamorpho that's where you get the word metamorphosis egg lava pupa adult allow yourself by the word he says that as we behold as in a mirror the glory of God he says we are changed metamorphosed in other words I am born from a system that is antichrist in its context my environmental conditioning makes for me to reject God I have been programmed by birth to consistently eat of the tree of life but I subscribe to a system of renewal that begins to edit my mind begins to transform my life and he says by that I will be able to prove that good that perfect that acceptable will of God the Bible says to set your minds on the things above where Christ is seated you can set your mind I choose to love love is a choice the hallmark of transformation in the kingdom is not power is not faith is love the depth of your transformation is not spiritual illumination it's not enlightenment is the degree to which the love of Christ has been resident within your person I can know your degree of transformation not by the scarceness and the acquisition of the knowledge you have because knowledge will increase even prophecies will fail there remain at this tree he says faith hope and love he says the greatest is love haven't haven't given them an exegesis on the gifts of the spirit he said behold i show you a more excellent way i'd like you to pray and say lord let your love let your love this hatred this self-centeredness that has made me to do things i shouldn't do the selfishness that governs my life i cry that the love of god will be at work in me both for you and for people lift your voice and pray it's not enough to love god alone you must love people it's not enough to love god Away the law of selfishness, oh God, from my heart. The desire to always be the object, regardless of the effect on people. Let it be about you, let it be about people, let it be about your kingdom. 
that my prosperity becomes about your kingdom not just me that my lifting becomes about your kingdom not just me hallelujah our time is gone but let's pray one last prayer listen I give you a guarantee that if you subscribe to God's patterns and you do it sincerely I give you a guarantee with my life sit back and get ready to see the wonder and the potency of God's word you are going to cry and say Lord the grace to be unbending over your patterns regardless of what the world is saying the grace to choose your way lift your voice and pray the grace to choose your way the grace the grace to choose your way of spiritual growth the grace to choose your way of lifting the grace to choose your way of doing ministry the grace to choose your way of doing business the grace to choose your way of freedom from satan and his cohorts the grace to choose your way of love the grace to choose your way of prosperity and abundance the way to the grace to choose your way and your formula for becoming great hallelujah hallelujah now we are going to pray I'll, I'll give us one more prayer <clears throat> but let me do it quickly because our time is gone we are going to pray as we are praying this prayer because it's, all of us are going to pray it but if you are here and you know that this prayer I'm about to give you have never surrendered to Jesus while we are praying I want you to run and come and stand here we are going to pray all pray a prayer of genuine rededication we are going to say, Lord, once again afresh, I'm handing over my heart and my days to you. And if this is your first time praying that prayer, please, I'd like you to make your way and come to the front. Wherever you are, please, if you see them coming, clear the way for them. But everybody lift your voice while they come. Pray and say, Father, this heart of mine, I hand it over to you. I'm tired of allowing this system destroy my heart. If you are coming, come quickly. Everyone pray. Lord, afresh. Take my heart. Take my motives. Take my days. In the name of Jesus. Let the reason for everything I do be your glory. Let the reason, let the motivation behind all I do be to see Jesus glorified. Please take it serious. It's a very serious and powerful prayer. I hand it over to you. I'm tired of the struggles. I'm tired of the pain. I'm tired of the disappointments. I just hand everything over to you. Those of you in front here, I'd like you to say after me with all your heart and mean it Lord Jesus I believe that you are the son of God tonight I hand over my heart and my life completely to you I declare that you are my Lord hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.